beyond question number 17 are list matching here we have list 1 and list 2 and what is the situation a lift at rest is there and a container having liquid and a small hole at the bottom the efflux finally lands at a distance 1.2 meter that's a situation when lift is at rest and we got to see list 1 now shows the change in the condition of lift motion and list 2 what would be the value of d let's see if i call this as h and this as capital h the range that is d which is equal to 1.2 is velocity of efflux root 2 gh under root 2 h by g and you could see the range has no relation with g at all so when the lift is accelerating up down or moving with constant speed in all the case d would be 1.2 and when lift falls freely quite obviously there would be no gravitational force to push the liquid out so water would not leak outside so for p q r the key is 1 and for s it's 4 therefore code c is the correct answer we'll now go to question number 18 all right question number 18 is again from electrostatics q1 q2 q3 q4 are all the charges of same magnitude kept at respective location and list 1 gives the nature of the charges list 2 gives the direction of force on a charge placed here like let's say first for option p all are positive in that case you would see the field due to all would be in the upward direction and the force on this would be in the upward direction that's positive y so this would be the option second let's say these two positive and this and this negative quite obviously the field would be in this direction because you can take as a dipole in this and the field would be there and the force on positive charge would also be towards right which is positive x next q1 q4 positive q2 q3 negative in that situation these two will give field in the upward direction these two will give field in the downward direction and the resultant field would be in downward direction so the force on a positive charge would be in this in the same way or even now the last option is this so that will go with option number two and finally with all these p3 q1 r4 s2 will lead us to code a let's see question number 19 now all right question number 19 again from ray optics list one gives combination of thin lenses like you could see equiconvex planoconvex planoconcave and an equiconvex and a planoconcave radius of curvature of each is r and refractive index is 1.5 so using lens maker formula we could calculate the focal length for example focal length of this would be r focal length of this would also be r this focal length would be 2r and 2r and finally when they are combined since they are thin lenses in combination 1 by f will be 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 like you could see r and r combination will give r by 2 
This is 2R and 2R. Combination will give R. Minus 2R and minus 2R. The combination would give minus R. And of course, the remaining one, even you need not go for any verification, but still if you want, this is R and this is minus 2R. And final, the focal length will go for this. So you would see, P is going with 2, Q is going with 4, R is going with 3, S going with 1 will lead us to option number B. And now, let's see the final question for physics. All right, question number 20. The final question is from Newton's Laws of Motion Mechanics. A fixed inclined plane and two masses, 1 kg and 2 kg, and some manipulation. Friction between M1 and the plane is always zero, while between M2 and the plane, the mu is given as 0.3. Some values are given. List 1 gives the angle, and list 2 gives the value of friction. And we have to see what would be the value of friction whether it's static or kinetic, depending on the different angle. First of all, let's try to see when will the body begin to move. In that situation, m1 plus m2 g sine theta is the downward force will be equals to mu m2 g cos theta. This is the situation when the system begins to move because there is friction this is smooth if they move both will move together and that's a situation there and tan theta is mu m2 by m1 plus m2 let's put the value mu being 0 0.3 so the numerator becomes 0 0.6 and this becomes 3 and tan theta becomes 0 0.2 and theta from the given constant, you could say it's 11.5 degree. It means when theta is 11.5, the system starts sliding. So it's all clear now. At 5 degree, the system is at rest. So static friction would be equal to the force trying to move. And that's m1 plus m2g sine theta. So you get that's the situation. Next, when theta is 10 degree, even now the system is at rest. So still that would be the situation. When theta is 15 degree, the system starts moving. And in that situation, the friction acting would be kinetic, which is mu m2g cos theta here. And same is the logic for this. So the best option is option number D. So students, with this, the solution and discussion of physics paper of JEE Advance 2014 is over. Hope the session was very useful and I wish all the best. May you be successful. May you clear the examination with very nice and graceful marks. Thanks for watching. Thank you.